Hi, welcome back. Today I am going to teach how to make the calculator programming using WPF application using C Sharp. So here this is a simple design I have made it. So let us show the demo first. If I want to add two numbers, click add button, the total will be displayed. If it is minus subtraction and division, if you want to clear, the form has been clear. So how to do this system step by step, we will teach. Right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to open the new WPF application. So if you are not installed the Visual Studio 2012, uh, 22, you have to install them, right? Yeah, you can after install them, you can go to the file new project. Here you have to choose here this window you have to choose C sharp along with Windows application along with desktop okay so the WP application means it's a desktop attractive user interface right so here click select the WPF application uh, here this one dotnet WPF application select this one click next you have to give the name over here what is the name you are going to develop the project I'm going to give the name as WPF calculator click next now now we have to wait until the project created so here click create now you can see here this is the blank uh, application form here you can see here it's a blank one so you have to zoom little bit you can see here this is a simple form now here you can see here <coughs> the design pattern of WPF you have to write inside the code that's a professional one this is XML here XAML this format you have to develop the application right so here first what I'm going to do is I will be explaining this is size this is height and width they have given width I don't need 800 I'm going to given as here as instead of 800 I am going to change it as 400 so here form should be 400 right perfect now I am going to <coughs> inside the grid I am going to do the remaining stuff so first what I am going to do is I am going to separate the columns okay I am going to separate the columns so I am going to I will be doing okay don't worry grid so you have to write the grid here we have to separate the thing so if we need the space here the this 400 i am going to divide it so here the first column definition with 25 means this is a 25 this is the <coughs> area where we have, we have designed the design our application so this one we have to i gave the size as 350 this is the blank area so you have an extra space we are given as 25 okay right that's a column definition simple definition i have to put it here right now what i'm going to do is this is the where this is the place where we have designed our application so let's go here i'm going to copy this row definition this is below this is row definition row definition means this is this is the uh, height we have given here this height okay you have to give the height the 20 i need the height okay so here height we have given here <coughs> this is the height where we have the bottom side here this is the height here if you want to uh, increase a little bit you will be able to increase right okay right so here we, uh, and the middle area i haven't specified height it has strict mean it will be default it will be getting the height and width, right this is how we have to align the things right this is a column definition we have set after that we have set the row definition column means is a columns row means is a rows okay right same like a html table design right so after that stack panel we have set the stack panel so this, this is the panel we have to put in the panel inside this width okay so how to set the panel you have to write this panel grid column you have to write this uh, grid column okay this one copy it and paste it over here 
right so here if you start the stack you must close the stack Inside the stack, we have to do the things. Create column and row. This is a column, one column, one row. You have to write like this here. Right. Here, I am going to design the design. Right. So, first what I am going to do is, you have to inside this, I have to create the another div inside the tag stack. This div, we already we mentioned the size 350. We have to separate two things. One is for label, one is the text. So, we have to separate as with 100 uh, uh, another column we, we we given here as 250 so i'm just copy and paste it don't worry i'll be explained after paste the uh, uh, copy and paste it you can have a uh, look nice this application look like this so i'll be explaining don't worry this is all the source code i provided my website you will be able to uh, put your product right don't worry this is a raw definition it's a the first one is a label. Label means it's a label. We have to get the label, right? Label, we have to contain inside the content. You have to write the name. Number one, grid zero. Grid row means this is row zero position. Column zero. So start is zero. Column zero position. Text box, X name, you have given the text box name. Okay, this is a name where we identify the text field. Row zero position, column one. This is a row zero, column one. This is uh, column zero. This one should be one. The same thing. Second one should be the number two. This is a row two. This is a row two. The first column so this is zero. Another one one. This is text field. Here we have set the text field. The same thing. This third one. This is a total. You have set the total text field name. Txt uh, text box total. Right. Or you write the stack panel for designing the button. Okay, so this is a button. Each button here, these are the called as buttons. So this button in WPF, after how to design it inside the stack panel, we have to orientation. We have set as a horizontal. This is the horizontal alignment. Okay, columns co columns span to grid row eight. You have set like this. So here button we have to give the width and contain means the plus button name. We have to give the button name margin. And the click event you have to give this and along with the button color you have to specify the color of the button okay so background what is the background color you have to going to give and, and at the same time what is the front end foreground color you have to give okay you have to do the button like this right so button perfect now we have done the user interface okay so if you have any problem with this height we have to reduce the height <coughs> Height we have given 450. Instead of that, we have to give a 250. Right, perfect. Now if you have a 200 also, okay, nice formula. A little bit soon here. This is your application, <coughs> simple application. Okay, if you have given the title, you will be able to give the title as well. Before it come as main window, you have to give add numbers. Add numbers. You can see it add numbers. Perfect. Right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is design user interface. Here I'm going to set the each event for calculate the values. So how to do that thing is WPU XML. This is the XML file for designing purpose. In the core section you have to select as a C sharp. Main window XML.cs. Here we have to write the code. First you have to write button name you have to give what is the button this is a button what's the name first button mean button add so you have to write button and equal now you can see here button uh, uh, you have to write click, right click, right click event, click, 
press the space bar on your keyboard now you can see the method this is add method after that we have another button we have name it as minus so button minus press the tab key on your keyboard dot set the click event plus equal press the tab bar on your keyboard second method has been created third one should be button sub dot click plus equal press the tab card on your keyboard after that you are set another thing is a button division dot click press the tab card on your, on your keyboard you have all the methods you have to create it okay if you have click you have to set the click event so all the button clickable event all the event will be created below now we have to first i'm going to add two numbers so here this is the button so first i'm going to create the variable so how to create the variable int so to create the variable separately above otherwise we have to create the variable here as well number of int uh, num1 equal text num1 this is text box field name we have given okay here we are given this name of the text field text box 2 text box 1 you are facing by the correct name there's a text which is a text so here we have to create the int dot int 32 go otherwise you can do int dot pass this is my right int dot pass right so here we have to convert them as a text box right so control c to copy second one variable number two this one text box number two now I'm going to calculate the total. So I write int dot equal num1 plus number 2. How to get the total? We have to print out the relevant field. Which one? This text field. Text box total. Dot text equal dot dot. Right, that's it. Right, so same thing, control C to copy, place it over here. This is a minus, we have only the sign we have to change this subscription, uh, subtraction. division add numbers this one should be subtraction division multiplication right now let's run and check whether it's notified or not click this play button wf calculator this one this is my project name click on this one Here, with the first time it will be building the application at the first time only okay so then uh, then it will be work right it's depending on your uh, configuration of your computer the my computer uh, computer configuration is little bit slow why telling the error yes the error building the like continue build why it's error save run it if you go through the error this is not error it asks to implement the button click clear click we already create the one button but we haven't created the click event that's why it's error so let's do as well 
Here button clear dot click you will set the event press the tab key car on your keyboard it will be created right that's it now here inside here we change it as text box text box dot text clear to clear total clear focus clear. that's it now let's run and check now it's working Now here, now here I'm going to add two numbers. So you have to write add two number click plus minus subtraction division clear. The form has been clear. Cursor should be focused on the number. It's working perfectly well. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Thank you.